What's up guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video, this time I have compiled a massive caps guide for you. Throughout this caps guide there will also be places where you can farm a huge number of legendary weapons also. So let's stop talking and mumbling and get on with this. Our first stop's Charleston train yard. You can find it here on the map, directly above the ash heap. When you fast travel to Charleston train yard you're pretty much going to end up here. Now all you want to do is head towards the blue um, vehicle in front of us. I think it's a lorry of some sort. There are a few little robots knocking about but don't worry about them. You're going to jump over the ledge and you can see the Grafton monster ahead of us. This is where our caps guide is going to begin. We're going to run straight over, kill and loot the Grafton monster. And pretty much here we go guys. There is... Um, a fair bit of this to be doing and this is where it starts so we'll run over a few caps stim pack sticky tar acid oil easy peasy now uh, let's move on to the next location our next location is charleston capital building just to the east of um the train yard that we was just at so we're going to head there and this is where we're going to um, come across our first legendary farming spot this is roughly where you're going to spawn in once you've fast travelled there. Now before we enter the capital building, we're just going to take a left and there should be another Grafton monster down in the river. So we're just going to jump down there, kill him, and then we will head over to the um, capital building itself. This is the river where you would have fought the last uh, Grafton monster at. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn around from there, head just over here just around the corner and we're going to head straight into the capital building this will be our first legendary run of the um, guide guys when you come into the building you're going to head directly right and then left through this door right again keep coming through and there will be um ghouls knocking about some of them like this one crawl from underneath the um ashes or whatever they are you're going to want to take him out now um it's pretty much self-explanatory the direction you want to go you can head down here you've got doors on your left doors on your right you want to check everything out go forwards we'll come across staircases make sure you check the second floor out and that's pretty much it okay so you're done with the capitol building you're going to want to head straight east to the white spring resort okay so when we load in we're going to load in here facing the white spring resort we're simply going to turn head to the north now if you can you can jump over these roofs i can but since some of you can't i'm just going to show you the long way around we're just simply going to run a run around here again this is another legendary run um once we've run around here we're going to want to take these ghouls out inside that building as well there are going to be ghouls possibly legendary so we're going to take them out after we've took them out we're going to run back up here and all along these cabins there will be ghouls you're going to want to take them all out see if we can get more legendaries see if we can get more caps all down there as well so basically anywhere on the resort there are ghouls you are going to come across um legendaries so keep your mind out for that now outside this building we can run down here and sometimes there's a creepy knocking about sometimes a grafter monster sometimes a death claw it depends what you get um i don't know what we've got there we have got a red scorpion okay so that isn't as good so we're not going to bother with that um once you've done the cabins the building i mentioned and the crippled you're going to simply want to come off there you can either run there or load in there the white spring golf resort um sorry the white spring golf club you're going to want to head straight there when you load in you're going to be right outside the golf club simply head straight for the golf club through the door now you've got a first floor and a basement um the first floor you can go left and follow it round basement same again just follow it round looking for legendaries there are all ghouls in there so uh be mindful there will be around your level i think um and yeah just take them out you're going to get one falling out the ceiling as well as you can see so um everything in here you can't necessarily see so just be mindful we have got a legendary running about somewhere actually and it looks like it's over here. Freestyle as well. Um, I'm in danger at the moment. 
So let's just quickly run around. So that explosion just attracted them all to me. Uh, it's a good legendary perk, but not necessarily the best. So I'm going to just quickly take that guy out. Um, and let's see what we got. We got anti armor machete. Not the best, but okay. Possibly the worst I could have got off a three star legendary, but again, it's something. We are getting uh, legendaries in here, as you can see. So take this place out kill all the monsters kill all the ghouls and we will uh, move on to our next destination also while I'm thinking about it you can get Wendigos in the uh, basement I think it's only one of them but they are worth looting and speaking of the Wendigo himself there he is let's quickly take him down and out and I'll show you what we can get off him if all these ghouls decide to uh, move away which it doesn't look like they're gonna so I might just have to kill them all that explosion has just completely got them going woke everyone up okay then so we're gonna go and loot this uh, Wendigo and then I'll show you where we can move on to oh my god there's so many ghouls okay where did the Wendigo go that's possibly him yes yeah, so we're getting uh, some 44 round stim pack glow meat right away Radex, another ghoul who wants to um, taste a bit of lead. Uh, we got a Radex, Wendigo teeth, fiberglass screws, baseball, and some gunpowder. I'm in danger for some reason, but can't see why. Um, gonna head to the next location anyway. The next location is the 98 NAR regional, so just quickly spawn in here. There is a sentry bot we can kill. So we will spawn in here. I have had the sentry bot um, spawning just here with uh, other robots around him, but that's only happened once or twice. He's normally just by these trains, um, just over the top of them. And there he is, as you can see, he's just down there. I'm gonna go and take him out. He's easy enough. You just focus on his fusion cores. Make sure you can't see you first. <laughs> okay, we are in trouble. Just let me quickly... Um, Get away from these guys. There we go. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to head over and you want to focus on his fusion cores. One shot, two shot, he's dead. If you've got a more powerful weapon, you can kill him in one hit. He's uh, very simple to kill. Make sure you don't approach him until this happens. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let him blow up first. Uh, we don't want to get in the way of that. He probably will kill us. And once he's done that, he will be somewhere. He just blows all out of the way. Um, there he is. You've got fusion core. We're not taking that because it is a full fusion cells, stim packs, circuits, antiseptic. Um, okay, I was going to say gunpowder and aluminium scraps, but he's decided to disappear on me. Uh, I suppose that's something that can happen, but shouldn't. Um, on to the next location, anyway. The next location is uh, Solomon's Pond, back to the south. So we're going to head there. I do need to remember where to go because I haven't been here for a while, but I'm pretty sure I remember. Okay, so Solomon's Pond, we are going to spawn in face in the pond, but I'm pretty sure we have to turn around and run down in this direction. And there is another lake down here, which we want to be mindful of. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got it right. So as you can see, the lake in front of us is what we're aiming for. And there is something in the lake we want to be killing. A behemoth. Uh, he doesn't look in very good shape. Uh, okay. He wasn't loading in properly. Um, if we shoot him, he will um, appear. And this is what you're going to want to kill. He's uh, one of the harder enemies in the game when it comes to cryptids uh, and normal enemies. Just go for the headshots all the time. Go for the headshots. Uh, and you will take him down sometimes these do take longer to kill if you haven't got the right uh, gear I mean I'm only using a normal automatic uh, assault rifle nothing special no legendaries on it and I can take him down quite easily so we can check what we got off him um, 18 caps some electromagnetic cartridges 45 ammo 5.56 ammo 0.38 ammo stim packs a ton of weapons and other stuff um, some fertilizer some nuclear waste a clean globe 
and a combat armor and robotic left leg. So there you go, guys. Uh, while you're here, there is a duffel bag if you want to loot it. <laughs> Onto the next location. Okay, so both locations next on the list: Huntersville and West Tech Research Center. Both of these are um, legendary runs. I'm not going to show you them. Simple. Go there, kill the enemies, and you will get legendaries off them. Huntersville, you normally get uh, about one or two legendary enemies, and West Tech, you're normally getting a minimum of three or four. So, yeah, go and do that, and I'll show you where to go after. The next location's Pylon V13, right over to the east of the map in the Cranberry Bog. So, I'm going to head there, and yet again, I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so we're loading in facing the Pylon. Now, if you come over here, you are going to um, come across either fog crawlers or um, I've completely forgot the name of the other enemy there is something else you can get over here um, Gore Possessed it, I can't remember what they were called for a minute so you can go over there and fight them guys around the pylon, they are going to be creepids but we do want to come over here, there are going to be a group of um, super mutants that we can take out we're going to simply want to take them out because there is either one or two with a minigun uh, get some bullets from the minigun from them then you're going to uh, be selling them for a hundred caps because you normally get over a hundred bullets and you normally sell them for a cap a piece at your vendor um, when we've took these guys down and out eventually we are going to come across a behemoth as you can see now, hold on a minute this guy's got a minigun as well so we're going to take him down okay there we go okay he hasn't dropped any um five millimeter bullets but that doesn't matter now let the behemoth and fog crawler fight amongst themselves while i just quickly loot these guys uh there was another Super mutant somewhere. Did kill him and he did have a minigun on him. But no idea where he's gone. Okay, there we go, down and out. Um now if that fog crawler's been killed, which I think Oh no, they're still fighting. Okay, so we're gonna take the behemoth out first. He's gonna drop a bit of uh, loot, like you seen from the last one. And then we're gonna take the fog crawler out. It's not um common for there to be a legendary there but you do get them there so it just adds a bit of bonus to the uh, run an extra legendary to loot this guy doesn't look like he wants to die just yet but we will take him out and hopefully we'll get something decent I'm after a nice new fixer or something but I suppose we'll have to settle for that <laughs> um, and then you've got the behemoth to uh, loot. You've got some 308 ammo, 44, 5.56, a grenade, caps, shotgun, syri eh, syringa, fancy lad snake, snack cakes, some candy cotton, nuclear waste, a mop, paper cutter, and yet again, a ton of weaponry and armor. Um, I don't think there's another fog crawler knocking about here. You do sometimes get free though, so just be mindful of that. Just remember one of them can be legendary. And make sure you kill them mutants because you can get 5mm um, bullets off them which are worth a few hundred caps. But um, I'm going to move us on to the next location anyway. There isn't too much more to do around here. Okay, so the next location is Robco Research Centre just to the north of the Pylon. So I'm going to head there and yet again show you what to do. Okay, so we're loading in here. Um, simply just want to go up here to the left, and there is another sentry bot. I was just about to say, again, all you want to do is um, take his fusion cores out. It's easy enough. As long as he can't see you, because <laughs> it does cause you a few problems when he can see you. Okay, where's his fusion cores? So, one, two. Remember to let him blow up, guys. If you don't let him blow up, it can be trouble. Uh, you can loot him before he blows up, but I don't see why you'd bother. There's no point making a risk. 
Uh, there are a few cars around him that can also blow up. See, look, this truck is going to blow up, so he might as well help it on, help it on its way. And one sec, I just don't want to take any chances. Don't want to be dying in this guide. Um, there we go. So we're going to run in, loot him, fusion cells, circuits, antiseptic, and aluminium. And he decided to dis eh, he decided to disappear again. Uh, once you've killed him, you come from that area. You're going to run a run. Up past the Robco Research Centre sign, there are a few robots knocking about that you can be wary of, like them two there, and that might actually be it, to be honest. Once you've done that, straight up here, and you have got the entrance to the Robco Research Centre. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do it, guys. It's a simple run, full of legendary um, monsters that you can kill, up to three star. Again, um, good luck. Just go and do it. And we are coming near the end of the run, so just a few more places to go, uh, which I can show you right now. Our next location is the abandoned waste dump, so we're going to go there, again, as usual, and uh, show you what's on offer. Once you've spawned in, just run forward, hop over the fence, you're going to uh, get a few rads there by the bins, but no worries. Uh, we can loot the bear that's knocking about. And then we're going to want to head straight into this cavern. Once you've loaded in, you're just going to want to run just past all these nuclear barrels straight through. Make sure you've got your weapons ready. Um, there are two death claws in here which can easily be taken down. Won't take too long. They are high level, so just be careful. Um, there's one down and the other one's just lying down over here. Sometimes that one I've just killed is mooching around the cave and... It can be a bit of a pain to find sometimes, but just look for him and you will find him. So we're going to get some death claw meat, some uh, black titanium and some other scraps, some stim packs, some more meat, hands, scraps and loose gears. So that's what you're expected to get there. Um, we're going to head to the next location and the final location now anyway, guys. Okay, so we're heading right to the north this time to Abby's Bunker. Do not mistake it for Ella Ames Bunker. Straight to Abby's Bunker and I'll show you where to go. Okay, so loading in, we're going to be facing the bunker. We're going to want to head to the east onto the um, highway or the road and head south along the road. Once you get to a certain point, we will be coming across an enemy you're probably quite familiar with i've never seen these three guys pop up there so if they do just make sure there's not a legendary amongst them sometimes there is um we're going to get to somewhere anyway there's like a lorry hanging in a tree as you can see there now up these trees there should be wendigos um but it does look like somebody's killed them okay so i've had to respawn in loads just to find this one Wendigo, it might have become a more popular place because um, of the screws that drop. But there's proof that some do spawn here. You normally get one in that tree, one in the middle tree and one on the left. Uh, it's normally a minimum of two, but you can get three. Um, but that's the guide pretty much done now, guys. There are a few other things I could have shown you. But nothing as good as the stuff I've shown you already. Um, simply because you've got this far, you're now going to be able to uh, head back to what was it, Charleston train station. You are going to be able to spawn there and do it all over again if you want to. The question is, how many caps can this uh, run earn you? Now, obviously, if you get the high end legendary weapons and armor you can make an absolute fortune but you gotta be lucky you could be talking over like a hundred thousand caps worth if you're lucky but if we want to um be real with it you're probably going to get somewhere between three to ten thousand caps per run all depending on what the um items sell at your vendor for but anyway guys thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.